Hello, my lovely lemonade out of lemons family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary, and here in today's channel, I'm going to just hint on some breastfeeding tips um, for breastfeeding a newborn baby and also show you breastfeeding techniques that you need to know to have a proper latch to get your baby to breastfeed properly. I have done this video in my previous, you know. My previous videos i use myself and my daughter and had the video done so i'm going to leave the, the video link in the description if you are breastfeeding a baby for the first time you can check out on that everything that i stated in that video you can as well um do them for yourself and uh, for your information or this disclaimer is coming from uh, whatever i'm sharing here is from my experience it's not from i'm not a midwife i am not a, a doctor or a pediatrician it's just something that i have experienced and i'm sharing it with you off head and sometimes i add you know other things like um showing you videos and all <laughs> so guys if this is your first time you're welcome to lemonades out of lemons it's been a while since i updated this channel because sometimes you get tired sometimes certain things get into you know um and sometimes to you just don't want to i actually was admitted for a short while at the hospital but i am back and i want to just talk about certain things i've already talked about in my previous video and i just want to remind you that you can do it properly this time around okay so somebody is asking how is breastfeeding like how do i explain how breastfeeding is like to you? breastfeeding is like breastfeeding it's like giving your breast to your baby to suckle on okay and it's it's called breastfeeding because you use your breast and then you feed your baby through that so your baby is feeding through your breast and what is inside your breast is breast milk okay yes yeah, so that's how breastfeeding is like and how to get baby to latch properly it starts with if you want to get your baby to latch properly it starts with how you sit to to breastfeed you can see that i have i'm seated straight my back is um act very well and uh, my feet are on the ground okay so that's how you have to sit you have to sit straight if you feel tired or if you think that is going to weigh you you just need some support at your back you know pillows to support you and you can breastfeed your baby you can also get your feet on a table or a chair to support you if you find that uh, it's challenging especially for first time moms please when breastfeeding for the first time make sure you give all your breasts to your baby i'm not saying that um let me say what i mean by all your breasts don't don't give the tips only to your child if you give your if you give your the breast tips only to the child the tips is going to get cracked and when it gets cracked it's going to be sore so it's going to make breastfeeding very painful and you can soothe it with maybe petroleum jelly or shea butter yes so um you should give all the breast now when you give all the breast you you find that the black area okay the blackish area everything must be inside your baby's mouth that area should be covering the outside of the baby's mouth okay so that's how you do it and you can get your baby to latch properly if your baby does not latch properly it's there are two main effects or something that's going to have two main things that's going to happen is that your baby is not going to have enough breast milk in that you are you are not giving all your breasts so your baby is struggling if as much as you need to support your baby's chin and also support your breast you your baby is struggling to you know get the breast milk and you are also holding it back so your baby is going to get tired because he's trying to pull the breast milk get food and the food is not coming so your baby is going to get tired it's going to stop so it wouldn't allow your baby to get full from the breast especially when you're doing breast, exclusive breastfeeding the baby is not going to get full so the baby is going to cry a lot the baby cries a lot and the baby 
uh, starts losing weight because they are not eating properly and then you'll be thinking of doing something else now it's also the second one is that it's also it's going to get gas to your baby's tummy okay your baby is going to take in a lot of air and then when the baby takes in a lot of air into the stomach it's going to be very gaseous and when it gets gaseous it's going to harm your baby in that your baby is going to um bloat a little <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of gas in the baby so it is very critical crucial to 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 latch properly all right there are different breastfeeding positions that you can take a look at there is the football um, football hold breastfeeding position there is the sideline breastfeeding position and then there is the normal holding of your baby you know position um i hope i can do a video on that but these days i don't have my tripod and stand with me so it's difficult for me to you know record a video where i can get the you to see certain things like you know it's, it's difficult so i don't know how to show you anymore maybe that's one part of how come um it's taking quite some time for me to load a video because i want to uh, upload a video that suits how i'm going to get the information to you okay yes so because of that don't get dismayed just hold on stick to this channel get other people to you know also join or subscribe and share the video i am okay if you share the video and you can use it for your own <laughs> video so somebody is asking what is latching in breastfeeding i've talked about it latching is the position that you hold your baby and you have to sit straight uh, your back should be straight and you should put your feet on a table or a chair to make it more comfortable and if you don't have a chair you should sit straight and put your feet on the ground so that your baby can uh, it's going to be easier for you and it's also going to be easier for your baby to breastfeed so i'm going i have videos on you know uh, breastfeeding demonstration videos i have it here in uh, on the channel i'm going to put the link here so that just click on any of the links and then watch it for yourself i have video on how to express your breast milk to let the breast um how to express the breast for uh, breast increase to increase breast milk supply i think i have it yes did a video on, on that um when i did that video i had already breast breastfed and um i just i didn't massage my breast for a long time because i had to run to do something else but even in with that there was something effective something i could see something and my child could feel this means that if i had time to massage for like 30 minutes it was going to help me and please when breastfeeding take time let your baby breastfeed 30, from 15 to 30 minutes on each of the breasts the, the left breast and then the right breast this is going to make your baby very full so that your baby gets healthy. Please run exclusively breastfeeding. Make sure it's after six months. And after six months, you can feed your baby anything. I have some foods here you can check out in, in the channel. And um, make sure, make sure, make sure you have enough breast and love yourself and love your baby. Yes, make sure you. you practice proper hygiene, always wash your hands before breastfeeding your child and after breastfeeding your child, okay? So I have this video on, on the channel. The last question, or well, there are lots of questions here. The last question is um, how often feed a newborn? How often feed a newborn? How, how often do you breastfeed um, a newborn? So um, it, it, it well, it depends okay let me put it this way whilst your baby is very young one week your baby does not feed much so it, it's going to vary from when your baby is one week to when your baby is two years okay so how often you need to feed your baby egg from one week to uh, two months you know it should be two hours on the interval when your baby is young your baby is not going to it's that much or feed that much it is little by little okay petit a petit yes so 
your baby is going to feed little by little. So sometimes it's just 30 minutes, one hour, but you make sure it's consistent. Um, when your baby is very little, very young, um, one week, your baby is not used to the environment. Your baby is sleeping a lot. The, the baby can sleep throughout the day. But whilst the baby is sleeping throughout the day, make sure as the baby is sleeping, you breastfeed your child while she's asleep so that when she wakes up or, or while she's sleeping, she's not starving. Okay, she's not starving. So from two hours in between, uh, so one year, two years, every two hours, but sometimes it changes, then it starts going to three hours, four hours, then you, when you bring your baby and then you add solids to your baby, you know that, you know, your baby is okay to go, right? Your baby have had the all the nutrients that they need. Yes, so guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Don't get this made. I'm going to come by your way some of the time and I'm going to put in a lot of stuff, information for you to appreciate and take care of your baby properly. But until I do that some of the time, it's bye-bye for now. See you at the top.